the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 74, Joshua 9 to 12. Courage overcomes fear. The covenant God gave Abraham was fulfilled by Joshua and the Mana generation who occupied the land of Canaan for five years. First point. Moses negotiated with Pharaoh for six months in Egypt, and Joshua fought 31 battles in five years. The battle for Moses was the negotiations that took place in Egypt between Pharaoh for six months. Moses' method was to hit the core. So Moses said, this is what the Lord says, about midnight, I will go throughout Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die, from the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the female slave who is at her hand mill, and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will be loud wailing throughout Egypt, worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites, not a dog will bark at any person or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. All these officials of yours will come to me, bowing down before me and saying, Go you and all the people who follow you. After that, I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. Moses succeeded enormously and was able to lead the 600,000 people out from Egypt. These people became the Mana generation and 40 years later, they found themselves fighting to conquer Canaan. The tactics for Joshua and the Mana generation was to take the trained men and to take over land via siege warfare. Like this, the Mana generation fought battle after battle and won 31 times. Second point. The five years of battle for the Mana generation was the fulfillment of God's 500-year promise. 500 years ago, God gave Abraham the following promise. On the day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham and said, To your descendants, I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates, the land of the Canaanites, Kenizzites, Kadmonites, Hittites, Perizzites, Lephites, Amorites, Canaanites, Gogasites, and Jebusites. 500 years later, God kept this promise he made with Abraham by giving all these lands. So Joshua took the entire land just as the Lord had directed Moses, and he gave it as an inheritance to Israel according to their tribal divisions. The land had rest from war. The descendants of Abraham saw 31 victories and claimed the land God had given them. Third point, Lahab and Gibeon's confessions were similar. Lahab's confession when she met the two spies in Jericho can be seen in Joshua 2 verses 8 to 13. Compare this to what the Gibeonites said to Joshua in Joshua 9 verses 8 to 10. This was after Joshua and the Mana generation had conquered Jericho and I. In other words, when the Mana generation was everything to fear. Rahab and the Gibeonites both heard about all the miracles God had performed for the Israel nation 40 years ago 
during Exodus. They also heard about how Moses with the Mana generation killed the two kings of Amorai. Fourth point. Both Abraham and Joshua traveled a long way to help someone. The Gibeonites faced trouble after making a treaty with Israel. Gibeon, who surrendered to Israel and became slaves, now faced trouble with the five kings of Amorai who threatened them. Thus, Gibeon came and asked Joshua for help. Hearing this, Joshua took 20,000 of his men and went to Gibeon, 38 kilometers away, and arrived at dawn. Abraham had also done a similar thing to save his nephew Lot by taking 318 trained men and fighting to save him at night. Abraham's men traveled from Merari to Dan, which was about 119 kilometers from Dan to Damascus, and then from Damascus to Hobah, which was approximately 160 kilometers. Thus, Abraham traveled 350 kilometers with his 318 men to save Lot. As for Joshua, he arrived at dawn with his soldiers to attack the five Amorite tribes who had made an alliance. The Amorite tribes, without preparation, had to suddenly start fighting. But before the fight came to an end, the sun started to set. Back then, when the sun had set, it was a custom to stop fighting and resume the next day. But in this case, if they had stopped here, it could mean that the Amorite tribe could devise a strategy overnight. So Joshua prayed to God, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and you, moon, over the valley of Aijalon. And so, miraculously, the sun did not move until Joshua stopped fighting. Consequently, Joshua was able to lead this battle in victory. Fifth point, without fear, there is no such a thing as courage. The descendants of Grasshoppers defeated the descendants of Anak. This is in reference to the incident in Kadesh Barnea when the ten spies said they were like Grasshoppers compared to the descendants of Anak. Forty years later, the descendants of Israel defeated the descendants of Anak. At the time, Joshua went and destroyed the Anakites from the hill country, from Hebron, Debir, and Anab, from all the hill country of Judah, and from all the hill country of Israel. Joshua totally destroyed them and their towns. No Anakites were left in Israel territory, only in Gaza, Gaz, and Ashdod did any survive. The Mana generation was able to defeat the descendants of Anak through their faith in God. In other words, their faith outweighed their fear this time. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.